Well, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to remove viruses from Windows 11. You could use this method on Windows 10 as well, and this should remove any sort of Trojans or malware on the system, including viruses. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do here. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to run at the built-in tool, which is inside Windows 11 and Windows 10, which is called Windows Security or Windows Defender. So go to Start, Settings. Inside here in Windows 11, you'll see uh, in the privacy and security, you'll see Windows security. You can do a search for Windows Defender on Windows 10. Click on the virus and threat protection here. This will open up the virus and threat protection window. Go to scan options up near the top, and we're going to do a full scan. This does take a long time, but it's important that you run a full scan because we want to remove all of the malware. Click scan now. And this will run a full system scan on your system. You need to make sure that you remove all of the viruses and malware that this finds. Remove them and delete them from your PC. Once you've done, go back to start, go back to settings, and then we're going to go back to privacy and security. Then we're going to go to Windows security again, and then back into virus and threat protection one more time. Inside the scan options window again, we're going to go for Microsoft Defender Offline Scanner. Now, some malicious software and malware can be particularly difficult to remove by using the first method. Using this method will normally remove those from the system. They will be stopping uh, Defender from actually removing it. But when we use this method, the offline scan, the malware won't be running and this will be able to remove it and delete it a lot more easier. So click that and run the offline scanner. It will restart your system, which is pretty normal. You're going to see the please wait sign come up and then eventually what will happen, it will start to load the Windows Defender offline scanner. It does take a bit of time to load, so be patient and let it do its thing, okay? So once we see this here, you should see Microsoft Defender offline and this will then start doing a scan. A little prompt box will pop up like this and it will say your PC is being scanned. This does take a fair bit of time, so be patient and let it run the full scan. Don't stop it or anything like that because it needs to remove any sort of malicious software or hard to delete malware that could be still residing on the system. So let that do a full scan of your computer. Once that's done, reboot your system and get back to the desktop. You should see your desktop window here. And from here, what we're going to do is move on to the next step. We're going to go to Start, Settings, and then we're going to come right the way down to where it says Windows Update. Go to Advanced Options. Inside Advanced Options here, we're looking for Recovery. So let's come down a little bit for additional options. And you should see Recovery. Click on Recovery. And then what we're going to do here is click on Advanced Startup. Click Restart now. This will restart your PC. Once we restart our PC, you should see please wait and you'll get the please wait with a logo sign coming up on the screen. This is pretty normal. And what we're going to do here is we should see a blue screen come up here with some options available for us. And there we go. Choose an option. We're going to go to troubleshoot here. Now you can also restart the PC and hold the left shift key down and this will take you to this window also. We're going to go to advanced options and we're going to then go to startup and settings here. So click on the startup and settings. And once we click on this, you should see a list here. Click restart. We want to enable safe mode. You should see enable safe mode with networking. We're going to enter that there. Now, if you need to download software, you need to have the safe mode with networking. If you don't need the software and you've already got it, you can hit safe mode restart the system and this will take us into safe mode so let's go ahead and get into safe mode here sometimes when you are at the desktop it can be difficult to run programs or other things on your computer by getting into safe mode this allows you to be able to do a lot more from safe mode so if you're having difficulties at the desktop get yourself into safe mode like this and then you can do some scans and stuff from here so let's go ahead and boot into safe mode here. The window will look slightly smaller. That's pretty normal. You should see safe mode in the corners here. So we're just going to quickly close this off here. Once we're inside here, we're going to go to 
the run box here and we're going to be typing C L E N M G R. Click OK and this will open up the disk cleanup tool. Now, if you've got a program that you like to use to clean any sort of temporary files or any junk from the PC, where you can use that, but I'm going to be using a disk cleanup tool because it's free and it's built into Windows. What we want to do here is remove all of the temporary internet files and other uh, temp files on the PC, and that's because malware and other adware can reside in those locations and cause havoc. So we need to clean all of this area. You can do this before you run scans if you wish, but we're just going to do it after we've done our uh, first scan here. So put the ticks in the relevant boxes, temporary internet files, and a bunch of other ticks in here. You can see I'm just going to tick a lot of this stuff here uh, because I want to clear out any sort of junk here. And uh, you can see previous Windows installation, that's taken up 12 gigs. So I'm going to put a tick in here. And also we've got recycle bin. Anything that you've got lying around on the PC, just clean it up. Once you're happy with your selection, you can go down and you can click OK and this will remove all of the junk from the PC. Now this does take a bit of time, so be patient. It needs to scan a PC and remove all of the junk files from your computer. You will see here, if you uh, clean up the previous Windows installation, you won't be able to basically roll back. So if you want to keep that on your system, you can do. If you want to maybe roll back to Windows 10 at a later date, you need to keep the Windows previous installation files, but I'm gonna remove them because I won't be rolling this system back. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up and remove all of the junkware uh, from the computer. App data is another common place where stuff resides, so you can clean out that if you wish. We're going to go to the browser here, go the three dots and then settings. Inside the settings, go up to the burger bar here, which is the three lines. Click on this one here and come down to reset settings. And what we're going to do here is restore the settings to their default values and click reset. You need to do this for every single browser on your computer. The reason why you need to do this is because malware and other adware will take control of your browser and start to uh, put settings in there and permissions and things like that and cause redirects and other issues with your PC. So you need to reset your browser back to default settings. Once you've done that, you can restart your PC and go back to the desktop. If you need to run more scans at that location from safe mode, you can do. If you're having trouble getting to the desktop, you can use Kaspersky Rescue CD and create yourself a bootable USB flash drive. Boot to that and run a scan on your PC. I'll make another video to show you how to do that. That's a separate video. But here we are now. We're at the desktop. And what we're going to do is go to search and type restore. Click on create a restore point here. You should see the system properties box. And if you've got system restore enabled, it's important that you remove all of the system restore points on your PC. So, and the reason for this is because malware can be residing on those system restore points. And when you roll back at a time, you could end up reinfecting your system. So it's important that we delete all of the system restore points. And you can even turn off system restore points if you want to, if you don't use it, you can turn it off and gain some space back. But it's important that you turn it off and delete all these. Once you finish your cleaning process, you can always go back into System Restore and create a new System Restore point and call it something like Cleaned PC. Now, it's important that you don't create any new restore points until you have fully removed all of the infections from your computer. Otherwise, if you ever use that System Restore point to roll back, you're going to end up reinfecting your PC. So only do the system restore point if you use them at the very end once you've finished cleaning all of your PC. Now before we do any of that stuff we want to make sure there's no adware and these are pretty common nowadays. It's very hard to reinfect Windows 10 and Windows 11 but if you have got uh, adware and stuff like that on your PC then using ADW Cleaner is a really good way of removing adware. It's a free tool that you can use and it's made by Malwarebytes. You can come over here and get the program, go to settings. Inside here, we can see there's a bunch of settings we can turn on. If you're having issues with your firewall or internet or anything like that, you can reset a lot of this stuff here. Reset bits, uh, delete prefetch files, reset proxy settings. If you've got proxies added to your PC and you're getting redirected to maybe uh, ad, ad sites and stuff like that, 
unsavory sites, you can put all the ticks in here and it will reset all those settings for you. Once you've got all this done and you've got all this set, we can go back up to exclusions. If you've got anywhere that you want to exclude from ADW Cleaner from scanning, you can add it in the exclusions. Once you've got all your settings done, go to dashboard and click on scan now. This will take a bit of time, so be patient. Let it run right away through your PC. It's going to find a lot of um, adware and stuff like that on your PC. Once you're done, you can hit the run basic repair if you're having redirects and stuff from your browser. If not, you can always skip the basic repair, but I'm going to run the basic repair anyway and click continue. Once that's done, we're finished with ADW Cleaner. If you're still seeing malware or adware at this stage, then you could be heavily infected and you may need to do more scans. Now, another tried and trusted tool for removing infections from the computer is ESET's free online scanner. Even if you have a antivirus program installed on your system, you can still use ESET's free online scanner. So you can download the little application here and say yes to the user account control and get this to open up the terms and conditions, say accept. And what we need to do here, you can see we've got a bunch of information here which you can read if you've never used this program before. It's super easy to use. Click get started and this will take us to the next window. You can send some information back to them, which is anonymous if you wish. I'm going to say disabled or no here. Uh, but it's always advisable to send that information back because it helps improve this program. Click on full scan and run a full scan. I'm going to enable the ESET to detect and quarantine potentially unwanted programs. And again, what we're going to do is run that scan on the system. This does take quite a long time. So you really want to let that run in the background. Now, I'd say at this stage, if you are getting massive detection rates at this stage, then you're heavily infected and you're either doing something really crazy on your PC like going to unsavory sites and downloading all sorts of stuff and using crack software and all those sorts of things on your PC. It may be a time to think about some more advanced tactics to remove malware from your system. These are pretty much a very simple, basic way of removing infections and malware from your computer. If you do still have detections and problems with your PC at this stage, then you may want to seek professional help to get that removed from your computer or maybe do a backup of your data and then do a fresh install of Windows to remove any sort of malware from your computer. Anyway, with that said, that's about it for this video. Hope this video helps you out. These are some simple steps you can take to remove infections from any sort of Windows based system, really, but we're going to be calling this one Windows 11. If you want to see more of this sort of content, maybe consider subscribing to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then let me know in the comments section below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to have a big shout out to all my YouTube members who are joining my YouTube members group. I appreciate their support, and I shall see you again for a new video real soon. Bye for now.